Welcome to PTD. These are your headlines for March 9, 2011. March 14 to 18 will be March Madness Week. It's never too early to start getting ready for another crazy week of dress ups. Spirit points will be given to the class with the most students participating, so show off your class spirit. This Saturday, on March 12th, there will be a soccer home game with SFS. As this is the beginning of the soccer season, come out and show school spirit, everyone. This Friday is curriculum day. There will be no school for students, so make sure to take some time to catch up on your sleep. Welcome to another episode of PTV. I'm Megan Song. And I'm Lydia Ahn. Last week was intense. It was parent-teacher conference week. But looking for my own experience, you passed the hurdle. Let's keep up the energy, KIS, because you will know that this week will pass like a cruise. Last week, PTV saw the different kinds of American TV shows KIS high schoolers were into. This week, reporters Megan Song and Rachel Moon investigate upon another quite distinct trend. The music, comfortable seats, proximity, and affordability all gather to make Korean cafes one of the most popular places to be after school for KIS high school students. How often do you come to cafes? Um, usually I come around three to four times a week. I go to cafes about once a week. Uh, I go to about once or twice a week. Uh, about three times a week. Oh, about three to four times? Three or four times a week, depending on how much homework I have. Four times a week. But students seek for more than just a good cup of coffee. Usually I just do homework um, and study for tests. Like it's really quiet and it's a good environment to study in. I just like hang out with my friends, get a cup of coffee and stuff. Socialize with my friends there and then actually meet my friends there instead of meeting them through high chat or like video chat. We just go there, relax, have some coffee, you know, have a lot of fun. And I think it's a great place where everyone could go, you know. With spring approaching fast, PTV expects more students will spend time at cafes. So next time when you want to find a KIS student, try waiting at a random cafe. It's highly likely they will show up. Reporting KIS's second trend, this was Megan Song and Rachel Moon. While high school students were busily studying class on Monday, the elementary kids had a splash of fun, swimming with fellow students from the Gepo campus. Let's see what these little swimmers did at the pool. Reporters Lydia Ahn and Hee Choi deliver the story. Hey! Early 9 a.m. on Monday morning, the junior kindergarten students from the Pangyo and Gepo campuses headed to the swimming pool for a dip in the water. Starting with a brief swimming lesson with Miss Toms, the kids began to warm up in the pool. Then they practiced their kicking skills as they splashed around in the water, playing tag and water polo with their new friends from the other campus. We really enjoy bringing the JK classes together from Gabo and Pangyo to come swim. It's great for them to see, meet the other students from the two different campuses, and they have a lot of fun playing with each other. Yeah, we definitely plan on doing that next fall. As the kids got friendlier with the water, they no longer became hesitant to leave Miss Tom's aside. They played with the water, plunged into the water, and at the end, they wanted to stay a little longer. It's not so easy to overcome one's fears and plunge into the water, but kids from both campuses left the swimming pool with new friends, having made bigger splashes than they had in the beginning. This was Hee Choi and Lydia on PTV. 
the middle of the week. I'm sure everyone is tired, but remember, we are only two weeks away from spring break. A little more endurance, and we'll be cruising toward a little bit of pleasure and relaxation. We'll be back next week with more news from around the school. Until then, keep flying, Phoenix! Streisand. Barbara Streisand. Streisand. Barbara Streisand.